flights are leaving from Miami Airport tonight, and people are certainly happy to get out of Dodge, but it was not an easy escape, whether it was getting that plane ticket or parting with their homes. WBC's Katie Brace picks up that part of the story. She's live at Logan. Katie? And Paula, we are seeing some of the last flights come in here from Florida, and people are really relieved when they finally land here at Logan. <laughs> Nerves dissolved into smiles as a mom finally hugged her daughter who lives in Fort Lauderdale. I'm just happy safe. she's safe. I'm, safe. I'm glad she's home. I had a mandatory evacuation. I'm on the water. A two and a half drive to Orlando took eight hours and then the flight to Boston. She booked the flight Tuesday when hurricane preps were well underway. But no water, gas lines were out of control. So I can imagine. We got out of there early. We got the last two seats. And May Long managed to get on the last American flight from Miami. Originally from the Boston area, her house in Boca Raton faces the water. I have a grandson who's in Israel who called me three times, even the beginning of the week. He said, Grandma, why are you there? Get out of there right now. Uh, are you glad you left? Oh, yeah, but I wasn't certain about it. I really, because there's a lot of people here that need support, friends. We came up here to escape from a hurricane. Ken Greer hails from Key Largo, which is under a mandatory evacuation. In 23 years of living in the Florida Keys, Irma scares him. This is uh, scarier this time because it's going directly up Florida. And for the Miami airport, there are no flights this weekend, and the Orlando airport plans to close tomorrow evening. Reporting live at Logan, Katie Brace, WBC News.